Hi, this is Kim Copeland with Kim Copeland Productions coming to you from Nashville, Tennessee. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about a vocal warm-up program and how important that is to you as an artist, uh, as a singer, even as a performer if you're doing just background vocals. Um, vocal warm-ups, having a regular program that is customized to your voice and your needs for your voice and how you want to use it, uh, can help you improve your stamina, improve your strength, increase your range, and build your endurance. Because if this is what you want to do for a career, you want to take care of your voice. So what I'd like to do today is kind of run through the why, how, and when of how to warm up your voice. Now if you were going to run a marathon, you wouldn't just start off running. You would want to loosen up your muscles, warm up your body, uh, get your blood pumping, kind of get your energy level up so that you could sustain that pace and pace yourself enough to make it through the whole marathon. When you're doing a show, a live show, or even in the studio, a long day in the studio, I want you to think of singing as a full body experience. It needs to be, your whole body needs to be involved in that experience the same way it would be if you were swimming or running a marathon or riding a bike in a race you need to use your whole body and your whole group muscle group to help you sing efficiently, consistently, and with enough strength and stamina to get you through a whole career as a singer. So I'm going to run through just a quick synopsis of a 10-step vocal warm-up that I recommend. I use this with all of my clients, especially new and young artists who are starting out, where it's so important to increase their range and really build their strength. This is a program, like I say, it's 10 steps. It can be done, for me it's about a 15 or 20 minute process. And I recommend that you do it twice a day, morning and night, if you're trying to, to build your strength up. If you're a young singer, a new singer, especially if you're working on some issues with your, your range increasing or with your voice changing and haven't quite settled into your range yet. Very, very effective for this. Um, once you are a little bit more advanced, you can cut it down to one session a day, just for maintenance. and as we go, as you get through this, you'll learn to kind of customize it to what you need and you'll find what's effective for you. So the why of using a vocal warm-up session regularly is to increase your range, to build your stamina and endurance to ensure that you can have longevity in your career, and that you can enjoy singing more. It really gives you full use of your instrument. It teaches you how to use it, what you're capable of, what your strengths and weaknesses are, and how you can build on those to get stronger. Now, let's talk about the how. This is going to be the 10-step process, okay? The first thing I want you to do is to, with a very relaxed body, I want you to tighten the core, relax the head and shoulders, and do all of this where you're totally relaxed from here up, and you're totally engaged and strong in your core. So we're going to warm up the core first, not the voice. I don't want you to sing pretty. I don't care how it sounds. I don't care if you're a little sharp or flat on the notes. But we're going to go up in half step increments. Now you may need to sit at a piano the first few times you do this so that you can play those half steps up and down the scale. You don't have to be able to play piano. You can just hit a C note, go to C sharp, go to D, and work your way up in half step increments and work your way down. You can also do this on a guitar. Um, I've done it so long I prefer not to use an instrument and eventually I'd like you to get to that too because this is also a really helpful tool for ear training. You can test yourself on the piano to make sure that you're really hearing those half-step intervals as you go. So step one is going to be a staccato exercise. We're going to start on the vowel sound of E, and we're going to do mid-range exercise. That means we're not going to start as low as we can go, and we're not going to take it as high as we can go. We're going to find a comfortable mid-range of our voice, and we're going to start there on an E vowel sound. With a tight core and a loose neck and shoulders, we're going to go now you can set your own tempo with this. If this is very hard for you in the beginning, you can go Now whatever tempo works for you is fine as long as you feel it working your core muscles. When you've done this 15 or 20 minute exercise for the first few times, you should be very tired your core should feel like you've done a physical workout because that's what we're trying to work here, okay? Your voice should not be tired because we're not really singing. We're only doing a physical warm-up first. So that's step one, the staccato single note on E. 
mid-range, not to the top, not to the bottom. Now we're going to increase that range. We're going to stay on the staccato single note. You can change the vowel sounds, uh, but we're still going to be very relaxed, very soft. Okay, but we are going to stretch our range a little bit further down, a little bit higher, but not straining. So to now I might start and I may go down as, as low as I can comfortably go because remember we don't care what it sounds like we only care that the throat is relaxed and the center is tight so we'll go all the way up the scale all the way down the scale from high to low in a very relaxed position not straining anything okay that's step two Step three is going to be a small scale. We're going back to just the, the vowel sound of E. On the second one, you can stay on E, what we were just on, or you can change it. You can go either way is fine. Now this step in step three, we're going to go back to only E, and we're going to do a small scale with that vowel. <laughs> mid-range. We're not straining low, we're not straining high. Okay? Step four, we're going to use all of our vowel sounds, the A, E, I mean the E, A, O, not A. You can if you want to, but that one's not necessary. Uh, and we're going to uh, do the small scale with that. <laughs> The difference in this step is that you are going to go low and high, and you're going to stretch your range a little bit, but still singing very softly, still working more from the core, less from the throat and vocal cords. Okay? Step five, we're going to go to a legato on the small scale. Legato means the notes are joined together. Instead of he 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 he, it'll be he 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 he. So we'll do that and change the vowel sounds, legato notes, that means they're connected, but we'll only do our mid-range again. So you're going back to not bottoming out, not stretching the top. The next step, which is number six, is that we are going to stretch the range. By now, your, your core is warmed up enough so that your vocal cords won't be strained and you can afford to stretch out a little bit. The way we, we stretch our leg muscles gradually, our arm muscles, whatever muscle group we're going to use, we want to stretch it out gradually so that we don't strain, tear, hurt anything. So now we're on a legato scale where we will go high and low. And it doesn't have to sound good again. We're not worried about performance yet. We're only worried about the warm-up. So it'll be... If you have a break in your voice between your chest and head voice, if you're a male singer and your voice is changing, I don't care if it cracks, I don't worry if that transition is not smooth yet, sing through it and keep going. Just push through it lightly. We're not straining yet on anything. We're not singing. We're warming up, okay? Number seven is breath control. Now that you've done all of this, you should be feeling a bit looser. Your core should be actually a little bit sore if you're not used to this, or at least a little bit warmed up and worked out. Now we want to try, practice some breath control, and actually we want to kind of test it. This whole warm-up exercise is as much for you to test what you have to work with that day with your voice as it is to work on conditioning your voice. Okay, so on the breath control, what we're going to do is hold out the notes a little bit longer just to see how long you can and to practice it. So it'll be ah, you're holding out the top note of the scale and the bottom note. E you're making that transition also very slowly from one vowel sound to the next. E really exaggerate it and drag it out. This will help you practice tonal placement and you'll be able to hear a lot of different tricks that you can do by actually slowing the process down in the transition there. Okay, number eight is going to be strength. Here's where you should be warmed up now a little bit that you get to kind of bring in the singing a little bit, not just practicing. But don't overdo it yet. But with the strength stuff, I want you to practice different uh, attacks on notes, maybe <laughs> practice crescendos and decrescendos. And see how long you can hold a note comfortably. 
and how you can stretch that out, how you can give more power to it, less power. So you're not only practicing your breath control, but you're also doing a little bit of a testing here of, of, of how the voice feels that day and how it's going to work for you. The ninth step in our 10-step vocal warm-up is to relax. And I don't mean just physically relax, but I do want you to do a test. I do want you to try singing while you move your neck and head around, while you relax your shoulders to make sure that that doesn't change your vocal sound. You should be able to, to keep a real consistent sound even while you're moving because this is not working. This is working. Okay, you're really working with our core to support what our voice wants to do. That's where our power and strength comes from. So on your relaxing exercise, this is another one that's really, really good for, for guys whose voice may be changing, for young artists, for, for female voices who are trying to transition from the chest voice to the head voice more smoothly um, and back down into the chest voice. I want you to start as high as you're comfortable, which should be fairly high in your range now that you've done all of this, and just let the voice fall very smoothly and comfortably without worrying about how it sounds. Let it fall from top to bottom smoothly and fluidly. This relaxes the vocal cords. This is a really good thing to do even on stage, even during your set. You can turn around off mic every now and then if you feel like you're straining a little bit, you're getting a little bit tense and tight in the vocal area, and the voice area. Turn around from the mic and do that one time and just remember to stay loose. And you'll be surprised at how that will improve your range and your strength and get you kind of back in focus of what you want to do. Now the tenth step of our 10-step warm-up program is to actually sing. Now you get to use everything that you've done. I want you to sing through a familiar song um, at whatever tempo you want to and at whatever volume you want to as long as you're not straining. As long as your volume is coming from core support and not coming from screaming at your vocal cords. Sing through a song. See how your voice works for you. See if you have more power. See if today the range feels really good in your high voice. See if it's a little shaky in your low voice and if so if you may need to do some more warm-ups there. If your low voice is bothering you, I'd actually go back to the first steps. I'd do some more staccato stuff because that may mean that you're either tense here or that you're not quite warmed up enough in the core. But the, the whole point of this is to build your stamina and strength, to increase your range, but also to use as a daily test because every day is a new day for the voice. You're going to be affected by the weather, by your allergies, by the particular venue that you're playing in, by how the stage is set up, uh, by the sound system and how it's working, how the monitor system happens to be working at that given day and time and with that person behind the soundboard. Uh, there are going to be many outside factors that affect what you do. So the point of this, aside from getting you stronger and giving you endurance, is to teach you how to control the things that you can and how to survive the things that you cannot control. And during your career as an artist, there are going to be many, many things that are out of your control. The more control you have over your voice and the more technique that you have over how to get around your weaknesses at any given time is going to determine the difference between a successful career and a very short unsuccessful career and in how much you enjoy that career. So the third point I want to cover is when to warm up. When you're building, when you're a new artist, twice a day morning and night. Uh, like I say, it takes me 15 or 20 minutes. I've done it a long time. I go at a pretty quick clip and I know what my voice needs to be stage ready. You'll learn that as you go. You may spend 30 minutes, you may spend 45 minutes, you may only last 15 the first few times that you try it, but that's okay. Stay with it because it should take no more than a week or 10 days before you really start to feel a difference. And if you'll stick with this program for a month, two months, people won't recognize you. I promise you, your performances will go up to such a higher level that people will wonder, you know, exactly what you've been doing to get it there. It's very easy. It's very quick, really, with, to show results. So for maintenance, once a day, I prefer you do this every day during your whole singing career. I think it's very, very important. On show days, I'd like you to go through this full warm-up uh, four, four to six hours before the show, get fully warmed up, and then rest your voice. And then an hour before the show, I'd like you to do an abbreviated version of it. 
maybe do one of the staccato runs, one of the uh, small scale runs, staccato and then legato, and then jump right to the testing. Jump right to the figuring out what you've got. Test yourself on some high belting notes, test yourself on some low lower notes, whatever your show is going to, to require of you. Go ahead and test the waters a little bit. This is an hour before the show. Then rest your voice more. And then right before you go on stage, I want you to do nothing but relaxation. <sighs> when you walk on stage, you should be totally relaxed from your shoulders up and totally tense in the core of your body. That's where your strength should come from, and that's what's going to make your show great. Remember that if you're in good vocal shape, you are going to get more caught up in the show. You're going to be able to relax and just enjoy what you do and entertain that audience, and they're going to get more caught up in it and enjoy it as well. The whole point of this and the whole point that I want to parlay to you today is to learn to control what you can and survive what you can't. This vocal warm-up should help you with that quite a bit. Have fun with your new vocal warm-up exercises, and I'll talk to you again soon.